Anyway, it's a beautiful day. Not hardly any clouds in the sky at all. Bright sunshine. We made it through the channel last night between Luzon and Mindoro. Uh, sailing part of the time and having to use the motor in the sails part of the time. There wasn't much traffic in the channel, so it made it pretty easy, although we still had to keep an all-night watch to make sure we didn't run into anything or nothing ran into us. Anyway, a pan around here through the northwest. And about due west. And over that way, you can see down on the horizon through the haze, there's another rather large island. Don't know right offhand what the name is, but I can put it on the screen when I edit this. And there's the first mate hiding from the sunshine again this morning. <laughs> she's been a real trooper because it's often been a little bouncy and she's uh, found her sea legs pretty well. So she's doing okay. Anyway, it's a beautiful day from where we are now until we get to the entrance to Subic Bay will be about 10 hours. So we're going to be getting there about 6 p.m. just after sunset this evening. And then it's about another six and a half miles inside the bay to get to the mooring field where I'm going at the uh, Arizona Resort. There's a couple of ships over there in the distance. You probably can't see them in the camera. And somewhere out there in front of us, I saw a fishing boat a little bit earlier. I can't see him right now, so I'm not sure where he went. Anyway, that's it for now. I don't know, I might get another video in later this afternoon while I still have good sunlight. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Friday afternoon, coming on towards 1 o'clock. Just had a little stack of cheese and crackers out here in the cockpit. And this morning's wind uh, continued to increase. We're right now due west of the entrance to Manila Bay. And it's blowing a good 20 knots right out of the bay. You may see in the background the ocean water, there's white caps everywhere. Based on the condition of the water, I would say it's blowing 20 knots, maybe a little bit more. It continues to be a beautiful day, bright sunshine, some clouds. We're roaring along here, got about 25 miles to go to the entrance to Subic. So I'm thinking somewhere around 6 this evening we'll be there. To give you a little shot of history over that way, is north side of Manila Bay. There's a quite large hill there. And going to the south, right on the horizon, 
may not be able to see it through the haze, but there, right in the middle of the entrance to Manila Bay is the island of Corregidor. That's the place where the Americans more or less made their last stand during the Japanese invasion of Manila. And a little bit farther to the south, also kind of lost in the haze, is the south side of the bay. Kind of get a little idea of the state, the sea state. The wind waves aren't very big because there's not been a long distance for the wind to uh, blow across the surface of the water to build the waves up. So for the most part, the wind waves are only maybe up to about three feet now. But there are white caps everywhere. And at times the motion on the boat gets a little wild. And get a big splash up here on the side. It's about 4.45 in the afternoon on Friday. And right now, I'm a couple of miles out of Subic Bay. That island that you see there sits pretty much right in the middle of the entrance. Now, it's not possible to pass that island on the right side because there's an extensive reef system that goes from the island over to the mainland there. So all passage must be made to the left of that island. It's quite deep water, over 100 feet, so no problem going there. Fortunately, earlier in the day had uh, quite good wind and a nice boost from the tidal current up the coast. So rather than being dark when we got here, it's still a bit before sundown. Oh, maybe an hour before sundown. So that'll make it nice and easy coming in to Subic Bay. Although uh, a night entrance is not difficult because the bay is quite large inside. And for the most, pe uh, most part, uh, safely deep. to the north and back that way where that big mountain is on the other side of that to the south is where Manila Bay is. Now, let's zoom in there. I think in the picture you can see all that structure on the land there. That's a large uh, shipbuilding facility for natural or compressed gas carriers. Uh, that facility was built by the Koreans. I don't know if it's Hyundai or not. Anyway, they employ quite a few uh, hundred uh, local Filipinos working there. Good morning, everyone. Here it is, Saturday morning, February 28th, and uh, arrived here at the Arizona. Just a little while after sunset last night. So it was uh, pretty much fully dark by the time I got here and picked up the mooring. I uh, got the dinghy put together, went ashore, went in, had a great meal, and uh, Cindy got to meet her sister, who she hasn't seen in 18 years. So, all in all, a good end to the day. Now it's Saturday morning, nice and calm here in the harbor, and we're getting ready to go in and have breakfast.